Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well and a big warm welcome if you're new here. In this video, I'm sharing 10 styling tips to not only help you to look stylish, in proportion and give the illusion of longer legs, but also to help you to feel more comfortable as well. There's nothing quite like being comfortable, is there? As you may know, I'm five foot four and a bit on the short side, and I know that many of you are a little height challenged like me. So I understand completely that there are just some things that we can't wear without looking shorter and bulkier than we are. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to look taller and longer legged. We're showing you some lovely spring pieces to illustrate how to elongate the look of your legs and some beautiful, fabulously comfortable shoes too. So my first point is, wear trousers in the same colour as your footwear. Wearing trousers or jeans in the same colour as your footwear creates an optical illusion to make your legs look longer. The eye continues right down your leg and onto the shoes and assumes that your leg ends where the shoe ends. This effectively gives you the illusion of having a few more inches in height. It just creates an uninterrupted line. So for example, you could wear black trousers with black shoes and pretty much any colour you can do this with as you can see in the footage that I'm showing you here from a previous video. In fact, many of the secrets to making your legs look longer are to do with the footwear that you choose as much as the clothes. So I want to show you a few pairs of shoes that I will be using to style up these outfits. They are to die for in comfort, as well as being head-turningly stylish and elongating the look of your legs. These are from Vivaya. I absolutely love them. In fact, I featured Vivaya in a previous video as well. Now, I'm only prepared to show you, ladies, things that I love, things that I use, and I'm always genuine. So I'm delighted to say that this part of the video is in collaboration with Vivaya. And I've chosen Vivaya because not only do I love their shoes, but I think you will too. They're eco-friendly and sustainable, as well as being, really importantly, very, very comfortable and so gorgeous. Incredibly, the shoes are made from recycled plastic water bottles. Now that is a brilliant use of plastic water bottles. I've got three different styles of shoes to show you here and in a minute I'll be styling them up so you can see how they aid the elongation of the leg. Now these are the pointed toe kitten heels absolutely stunning. They are so beautiful. The colour is just amazing. This is the Natasha style and you can see how light they are. This is in the ivory and cream and don't worry about it because they are washable. So you can wear these beautiful spring-like colour without worrying about them getting too dirty and you can see here, I hope you can see here, the heel. They have a heel but it's pretty low. Part of Vivaya's new collection which is called Running Heels and actually I've tried and you can run a little bit in these. The second pair that I want to show you are these. These are the Aria Pointed Wedge in Leopard. They're a wedge which of course gives you a feeling of security when you're walking along as well um, and they feel more stable. So you've got a heel but it doesn't actually feel like you're wearing a heel. And not only are they beautifully stylish but look at the quilting inside there, that's going to be dead comfortable. The third pair the third pair that I want to show you are these. Now these are kind of French sheet looking, I think. A little touch of je ne sais quoi called the Julie. Um, they've got a low heel, very solid, very comfortable. And they come in this colorway, two-tone with cream with the black on them and the opposite way around. So black with cream on the toe as well. Now I have a discount code for you, of course. Anywhere on the site, you can get 15% off if you use the code which is actually on the screen now. It's D-E-I-R. All these shoes are basically like walking on a pillow and particularly good if you've got painful feet. But the added advantage of looking as though you're wearing a heel and having that kind of lift to the look, but without feeling like you're on a heel. They bring style without much height. For many comments on Vivaya's website which you could go and have a look at that talk very enthusiastically about how comfortable they are and how stylish they are and I don't know about you but if you look for shoes that are comfortable it's not often that they're this stylish so you've got the combination of it here. So let's look at my first look where I'm illustrating the leg lengthening effect of wearing the same colour footwear as your trousers here in look one and you can see I'm wearing this pair of Vivaya shoes as well. So here I've selected a soft light sand coloured pair of trousers. These are from Karen Millen. They are perfect for spring into summer 
really soft pastel -y shade. Now I chose these because I wanted to show you that even if you're a bit height challenged, if you know how to style wider leg trousers, it's perfectly doable. I know that shorter ladies and shorter leg ladies tend to shy away from wider leg trousers, but they really can work and they're flattering because they can be ideal, wider leg trousers can be ideal if you're a little bit worried about lumps and bumps on your hips or thighs or bottom uh, because they're very flattering and they just skim over this sort of thing. So we've got the sand colored trousers and of course I've got the sand colored Vivaya shoes and they're nearly the same color as the trousers. Um, now I've created an uninterrupted line all the way down here from my waist down to the toe of the shoes. It's a clean line downwards, very elongating, even with the wide leg trousers, sort of counteracts that effect. So you can see that you don't have to stick to dark colours either to get this lengthening effect. Now, of course, this effect is helped by the fluid cut of these lovely trousers. Now, to balance the outfit, I've paired the trousers with a flowy crepe material leopard print blouse from H&M. Also elongating, I know it's got a lot of, of bulk, it's quite loose, which means it's comfortable, but actually it's very floaty, so it flows well, and also it's got the deep V-neck, creating a downwards line as well. I've added more definition still to the waist with the cream belt from Anthropology, classic but with a twist of gold hardware. It's also a skinny shape, which helps to define the waist and bring that in. So this brings me actually onto my second styling tip for elongating the legs which is wear nude coloured shoes. As you can see with these shoes, even though they have a small gap between the top of the shoe and the bottom of the leg, it's very, very small. And also, as the shoes are nude colour, they're so similar to my skin colour that the line isn't broken as you go down the leg and onto the foot. Nude coloured shoes are perfect for elongating the leg, whatever you're wearing. They're especially effective, actually, with a skirt. There's a picture here of our lovely Princess of Wales. She absolutely rocks nude shoes. Um, so if it's good enough for her, it's sure good enough for me. And just look at the effect they give that leg. And as you can see, you don't have to wear sh nude shoes just with nude clothes, actually, to elongate the leg. If you look here, she's wearing this red colour with some beautiful elongating nude shoes. But going back to my look here, I wanted to show you uh, the difference between the effect of wearing the nude coloured shoes compared with the effect of wearing a black pair with these trousers. And I think you can see that the black shoes just act as a cut off really at the end of the legs and make the trousers look wider because the eye stops there. The third look illustrates another important styling point which is wear pointed toe shoes. Pointy toe shoes are essential for elongating the leg. Doesn't mean that you've got to wear heels, but pointed toes are the important thing. They add an extra one to two inches to your foot. So that extends the length of your look by, or length of your leg, I should say, and your look, uh, by one to two inches as well, of course. Not just the pointed toe and the tapering of the shoes that's so flattering and so slimming and so elongating for the leg. It's actually, they actually add real inches. Now you can see here I've swapped out the pointed toe with our shoes for my trainers and in comparison rounded toe shoes can make the leg legs look much stumpier. Here in my sneakers you can see the look of my legs is stumpier and bulkier looking somehow. So my fourth point is wear shoes with a low vamp. And just before I go on to my low vamp, which I'm sure you'll want to know what that is, um, if you are enjoying this video, which I really hope you are, ladies, please do give it a thumbs up, like underneath this video, because it really helps me to recognise which videos you like so that I can make more of them. And also, please do subscribe, particularly if you're new here, because it helps to keep the videos going, helps to keep my channel going, um, and also comment. I love to see your comments, always respond to them, and we have a wonderful community underneath this channel. So back to wearing shoes with a low vamp. So I'm going to illustrate it here. The vamp is the part of the shoe that covers the top of the foot from the toe up to the ankle. Now a low vamp is where you have shoes which just cover the toes and a little bit more. A high vamp is where the shoes cover much higher up the foot. This is really important for leg elongation. When you select shoes with a low vamp, such as these, which cut down into the toe, your leg is elongated. A higher vamp means your leg length is cut off. 
So to elongate the look of your leg, try and avoid shoes with a high vamp because the higher up your foot the vamp goes or the shoe goes, the more it will cut off the length of the look of your leg and you'll look shorter. So number five, create vertical lines everywhere, all over you. <laughs> Uh, creating vertical lines on your outfit right from the top down to the bottom not only makes your body look longer of course but particularly your legs so in this look I've created vertical lines with my striped shirt but also by wearing it as a third layer so I've added to the whole long look um, as I can show the whole length of the look going down my legs with this long shirt it cuts my chest up too because it lengthens that makes it look less wide as well as lengthening my legs. So that means that I can wear these loose cut linen trousers very easily and not worry about them looking too wide on my short frame as I've added vertical lines which counteracts them. Other ideas to create vertical lines are choosing pinstripe trousers as well. They're very much on trend this year. And also monochrome or tonal outfits have the same effect as you can see with this look. By wearing a tonal top here, as you can see, rather than one of a different colour, this look makes me look more slender with longer legs than the other look did with the animal blouse that was I showed you before. Columns of colour can achieve this sort of effect as well. So what I mean by that is, of course, wearing the same colour top as the bottom, but then wearing some third layer, such as a jacket or a long blouse or a cardigan over the top, which actually creates the thin column of the same colour all the way down your body, framed by your third layer. But number six is important to pick the right trousers. Picking the right trousers is important for the look of your legs, of course. By and large, straight leg trousers do work well, but the right trousers obviously depends on each individual, on your height, your build, and your own personal preference too. What I would say is wider leg trousers can be really flattering on us shorter ladies if you know how to style them and you adopt some of these points that I've been talking about. They look modern and contemporary too. The most lengthening way to wear these trousers is to ensure that the wide bottom seamlessly covers the tops of your feet, as can be seen with these trousers here. Again, it's all about creating that unbroken vertical line. So for this look, I'm wearing the animal print wedges that I showed you here at the beginning of the video. They're just fabulous and they bring a touch of chic to this look. Now, wearing trousers that overlap with the shoes also allows you to wear a looser top without looking bulky too. So as I have with this apricot blouse, the one I'm wearing now. Another point to bear in mind to elongate your your legs is avoid ankle straps or Mary Janes. Wearing an ankle strap or a Mary Jane is one of the most effective ways to shorten the look of your leg. It's the absolute opposite effect of all the points that I've been talking about. Horizontal straps visually cut off the leg at the point of the ankle, making your legs look much shorter. Now, if you love them, one way to get round this is to wear tights the same color as your shoes with the ankle strap, so no one can see them. So try to wear sandals or shoes without an ankle strap or a band to allow the eye to travel right down your leg, right down to the tip of your feet without any interruption. Number eight is wear a higher waist. Now you may have noticed with the trousers that I've been showing you in this video that they're fairly high-waisted and of course that's deliberate. Um, high-waisted or mid-rise jeans or trousers or skirts uh, have the lengthening effect of your legs because they trick the eye into thinking that your waist is much higher than it is. So choose bottoms that sit a little bit higher than your natural waist. So my next point is number nine, wear a short jacket. Before I start to explain this, I just want to say that I ordered this beautiful jacket from Mango, absolutely to die for, that I wanted to illustrate this point to you with, but sadly it didn't arrive in time. So what you can see here is this old boucle jacket that I've had for about a thousand years, um, used to fit, but clearly doesn't now. But it actually still illustrates the visual idea of how lengthening a short or a crop jacket is. Wearing a short jacket actually allows the whole length of your trousers or jeans or skirt to be seen. So making your torso shorter, but your legs look much longer in comparison. 
The best jackets are those that stop just above your hips and just below your waist, just cover your waist. My final point is number 10, don't, it's a don't, don't wear long untucked tops. So I'm finishing with a don't actually, and I want to illustrate it here. And I think it'll be clear to you what not to do by the way I look. If you want your legs to look longer, don't wear your shirts or tops a long way down your leg. I'm not saying not just untucked. I'm not saying that. I'm saying particularly long ones because wherever your top stops, the illusion is that this is where your legs start. So by wearing a long top, your legs will look really short. I hope this has all really helped ladies and I would love to get your comments as we, we have such a good community here and I'd love to get your views on what I've said. You might not agree or on the other hand you might. <laughs> so also I'm a real fan of these Bavaya shoes and if you love them as much as I do, please don't forget there is a 15% discount if you go onto the website for anything with my code DEIR. So all the links to everything I've uh, worn and shown you is in the video description underneath the video if you scroll down and I really hope you've enjoyed this ladies. I've loved showing it to you and being a short lady uh, I'm sure some of you may be out there and I'm sure that you'll really benefit from the tips that I've given you. So have an amazing day, an amazing week. I will see you with the big video next weekend and two shorts in the week as well. Lots of love. Bye.